Race number seven, then this will lead us into the derby. It's a class three contest. 1,200 metres is the trip, headed by Smart Leader. Takes the drop in class twice. He's dropped in grade and won both times uh, as well in this class. His two wins have been in this uh, grade, I should say. Transcendent George draws barrier number two. It's the first time he's drawn a gate for a while. Trust me, uh, a winner beating Genoa Park course and distance last time out. Dublin star place on his last two. But Courier Wonder, so impressive on debut back in October. Back at the track from barrier number one. Keep you warm third in his last two, Armour Star. Um, we'll probably want to roll forward from barrier number five. There's plenty want to do that, though, as well. Lucky Quality and then Telecom Cheater again. Eight, eligible for a class drop. Gets barrier 13 and the lightweight. Trust me, wine and wine. Armour Star and simply Fluke Mark are the horses uh, that have been up at uh, Chungfa. Courier Wonder will be all the rage here, I'm sure. I'd imagine so. And from barrier number one, Andrew, he led on debut and jogged it by five and a quarter. He's going to lead here. Good pace, though. Armour Star, who's uh, been in pretty good form. He'll be up outside him second. He did have an excuse in that last start run in October. He's had three trials. Keep you warm, trust me, who's racing well. He gets into a good spot fourth. Wine and Wine, Regency Bobo, three wide. Dublin Star is consistent in this sort of grade. Smart leader, simply fluke, comes to Chartin around Old Water Diviner, and Telecom Cheetah is last. Couldn't have been more impressive on debut. Courier Wonder, he'll be the shortest price favourite of the day, there's no question, and his work's been really good. He's had a lot of time off, or plenty of time to get over that uh, debut run, and he looks good. Keep you warm, he moves nicely as well, just a bit of even couple of works uh, work for him as well. Another one that stretches out nicely, and he's been quite consistent at his last couple of starts with good runs behind Trillion Win in fantastic way. And Armour Star coming back after that enforced layoff there. So just a nice, quiet piece of work from him. He has trialled well since. Uh, did, did go well fresh up in his first campaign and won, won second up, so he looks good as well. All right, we'll have a look at that trial in a moment um, as well. We'll start off, though, with Trust Me, uh, the winning form here, Mark. Course and distance. Did this from barrier 14 as well, so there's a bit in it, uh, beating Juno Park. He was uh, never on the track either, and he's, Dennis Ship's got him going really well, this horse. He's had eight starts this season, one win, four placings, and a fourth. Um, he's run past Kai Shin Dragon there. I'm a single man's running on. He's in an earlier race. Left him out, Paul, despite the fact he's got a much better draw and as good as he was here, the nine pounds was the key to leaving him out of the selections. Yeah, look, this was his first time up in trip two, well, winning at 1,200 metres. All his wins had been down the straight 1,000. He was sort of known as a speed horse. Mm, OK, Dublin Star brings solid form into this as well. Second, keep you warm to be very consistent as well, Paul. And wine and wine, what about him? Just two runs for him so far. Yeah, look, I haven't got wine and wine him. I think he needs to improve. I have definitely got Dublin Star in, though, because... This horse is quite consistent. He was a bit of a barrier rogue when he first started off down the straight 1000, but he's learnt and everything seems to be going well from him, uh, for him. And barrier number six looks ideal. I think he maps very well. So he's in for sure at Dublin Star. Yeah, echo everything you Paul says about Dublin Star. And he was never going to beat the winner and was hard ridden, but that was fantastic way that beating by a length. He's two for two and will be super short later in the program. Yeah, we'll talk about him in race uh, number nine. That's a fantastic way. Stable mate of Courier Wonder. So let's hear from his jockey. That's Joe Marrera. Joe Career Wonder, that was a pretty special debut win from him, wasn't it? Yeah, very impressive. <laughs> Not just a special, but very impressive as well. He he bolted, he won very, very easy, and I think even if he's up in class now, he just needs to repeat what uh, he's done first day. So it is such an exciting horse to be dealing with. John Size has spoken in the press since then about how he made the decision to back off him after that run in October. We obviously haven't seen him at the races since then. You've ridden him in, in three of his trials leading into this race. How do you feel he's come back? I think he's coming back as good as anybody else would wish, you know, except the opponents. He, what John done to him to just put him away and give him some extra time was a, um, such a size John Size is styled, you know, Size thinks. And I think that is a great benefit to the horse himself. He has improved, no doubts about it. He's got a better idea of what his job is. And he's been doing extremely well on his track work and also on his trials. So I, I myself, I couldn't be any happier than way how he's going. And I'm quite confident about him. Lots of confidence you expect there from uh, Joe. Nice to see uh, Alan Astaire Aitken at track work as well, Mark. What do you think about Courier Wonder, though? I didn't think he needs to stop dancing, Alan. Anyway, um, just fantastic win, and Joe's covered it well there. He's had the four trials, Paul, so he's been well-schooled since that win. John Size has been really patient with him, and the horse that he's beaten up in that trial is Dandy Hughes, who's won since. 
I know he's up in grade, but everything points to him making it two for two. Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? Everything's going well with him. And uh, look, it was such a good win last time. I think he can win again. Got a 14-point rating rise uh, for that win. So exciting to see what he can do when he returns uh, to the track. We've got one more horse to take a check on here, Paul, and it's uh, Armour Star. You, you made reference to this trial earlier. Yeah, I thought it was quite a good trial from him. He just finished his second. It was a nice, soft trial. He wasn't really pushed out towards the end of it as well. Uh, look, he, we, I know this horse, well, this horse has got plenty of ability as well. They've taken their time with him. And uh, that's divine error, I think, coming down, winning, winning the trial. So a really nice uh, trial from uh, Armour Star. And I, I see him as the Quinella horse, actually. He's had uh, three trials. He's back from an enforced break as Armour Star, and that is quite often the time to get those horses. Didn't have him in, but he was in good form before that uh, race last time. All right. If he's the Quinella horse, Paul, he's nearly 100 to 1, but the market might be slightly skewed at this stage. <laughs> Just ever so slightly, right, with Curia Wonder. But he's on top, Curia Wonder. Uh, to beat Armour um, Star, see that as the Quinella. Uh, Dublin Star, so a couple of stars in there uh, as well. He's going nicely. And Lucky Quality comes in with a really light weight, another one at a massive price. So I'll be looking at forecasts uh, with Courier Wonder to win with maybe the 7 and 10. It's got to be Courier Wonder. That win was so easy. Uh, five and a quarter lengths, jogged it. Joe nearly hurt his neck looking around to see where the opposition were. Dublin Star is... Super consistent racehorse. He's up two pounds for that second behind Fantastic Way. Draws the same gate. Races well track and distance. 12 lucky quality to run third. Um, better draw than that. Uh, beaten two lengths behind Winner Method last time. A seventh behind Igniting two starts ago. Draws very kindly in Barry number three. Keith Young gets aboard for Casper Found. So he is in. He's run some uh, decent trials as well this time in. And the nine keep you warm. Placings behind Trillion Win in fantastic way these last two. He hasn't been well served by the barriers this week, uh, with one and eight previously. Gate 12 in race number seven, and he's a 14 start maiden, but certainly a minor line hope. It's all about the eight, Andrew. Eight, seven, 12, and nine. Yeah, Courier Wonder, clearly the one to beat, even with that massive hike in the ratings. Hard to know exactly how that market's going to shape up as well, but I thought tra a transcendent might offer some each-way value from a good gate for Jerry Chow.